Okay, yes, you read that title correctly. Lactic acid does not cause muscle burn. So let's go into kind of the misconception of why it does and what actually is causing that muscle burn you're feeling. So when you exercise, the source of energy is glucose and it's broken down to pyruvate. Uh, pyruvate is then used in either aerobic, if oxygen is present, or anaerobic uh, fermentation with no oxygen present process. Both yield ATP, which is the energy currency of the cell, but very different amounts. So when there's a lack of oxygen, you're only generating about two ATPs. In aerobic, you're generating a lot more. Uh, we're also seeing this lactic acid being generated in an anaerobic um, environment there. We can see the person here, at least training their muscles there, running through a lot of ATP. Now, aerobic respiration involves a citric acid or Krebs cycle, uh, oxidative phosphorylation, which is the process of generating ATP uh, with no negative byproducts from either and high ATP pr production. This is why uh, oxygen or utilizing oxygen is so efficient because not a lot of uh, negative products generated and a very efficient way of generating lots of ATP. So what causes the actual burn to the muscles if it's not this lactic acid? Well, it's release of protons during the ATP breakdown that's increasing the acidity resulting in the burning feeling. So in short, yes, it is an acid. It's simply just not lactic acid. Because if you remember, the uh, increasing proton concentration will create an acidic environment we see here. So as the hydrogen ions uh, amount increases, we have this acidic environment that's being created. It is this acid uh, environment that causes the burning feeling, that reduction in pH. So what you're seeing here is our ATP uh, being broken down, and you'll notice there is that release from ATP to ADP, then seeing triphosphate between seen diphosphate, there is a breaking of that um, phosphate group and also this all-important release of hydrogen ion causing a decrease in pH, resulting in an acidic environment causing the burn. So lactic acids and lactate's role, well, the terms uh, lactate and lactic acid are often used interchangeably, but lactate is the component measured in the blood, blood and is strictly a weak base, and lactic acid is the corresponding acid, so it kind of flips back and forth between these two. Uh, the lactic acid aids your muscles as an energy source. It can actually help reduce the acidity. Uh, again, this kind of binding of these hydrogen ions to produce, again, the lactic acid here can actually be beneficial at reducing potentially um, the burning m muscle feeling, contrary to popular belief. Uh, you may have experienced the day after muscle burn, known as delayed onset muscle soreness. Uh, this day after, the day after you exercise, you feel kind of that burning, achy feeling in your muscles. It's likely due to microscopic tears in your muscles and or irritation of pain receptors during the exercising process. However, believe it or not, this process uh, is actually not well understood. So you kind of get up in the morning, you have that kind of soreness. Uh, it could be in part due to these torn muscles, uh, but likely not. Uh, to the lactic acid for sure, uh, but it, again, that acid that's breaking those ATPs, that's your cause. So it is an acid. Simply put, don't blame lactic acid.